Io sono Fiorenzo, uh, fi uh, um, my, so how much do you follow if I speak, if I speak Italian? Should, should we try it? <laughs> Qual è il vostro piatto preferito finora? Finora is up to now. Because Tiramisu obviously is not here. Recipe or dish? Your favorite, your favorite dish. So, so, you, so you ask that, you know, when you, when you, when you want to, when you go, when, when you have somebody, for example, colloquial, right, and they, you want, uh, you're going to a restaurant. And, um, and you've never been, and you've been with somebody that has been there, you ask them, Qual è il tuo piatto preferito uh, in this restaurant? Qual, qual, è, qual, è, qual è? Qual è? Qual è? Qual è? Qual è? Qual è? What you say. And, and it's, uh, it's tricky with the apostrophe, you always have to kind of give it that little. Qual è? Qual è? Qual è? Qual è? Yeah. Qual è? Yeah. Qual è? Il, well, il. Tuo. 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 Is your, right? Piatto. 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 Qual è il tuo piatto preferito? Il mio piatto preferito è il ah, polpette di tonno. Polpette di tonno. Mm. E tu come ti chiami? Eh, Doug, mi chiamo Doug. In italiano? In italiano non so. Eh, eh, Giacomo. Giacomo. <ride> Giacomo. Giacomo. Sì. Ciao Giacomo, io sono Fiorenzo. Eh, piacere. Piacere. Um, Stavamo parlando di piatti preferiti. Qual è il tuo piatto preferito? E... Quanto vuoi sarebbe da dire? Ah, ok. Uh, <ride> <ride> il mio piatto preferito è... è i polpetti di zucchino. Le polpette? Due, due volte le polpette. <ride> Sara? Il um, mio piatto preferito è la pizza. La pizza. Uh. La pizza. Quale pizza avete fatto? Cosa c'era sulla pizza? Formaggio. Aglio. Formaggio. Aglio. 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 Pomodoro. Aglio. Like the golden, the golden palm. Yeah. Yeah. Cipolle. Salsiccia. Salsiccia. Formaggio. 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 Ma era formaggio oppure era mozzarella? Mozzarella. Mozzarella. mozzarella, 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 mozzarella. E, e tu? No, crespelle. Crespelle. Di, di, di spinaci. Spinaci. Di spinaci. 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 Di spinaci. Spelle di spinaci. Benissimo. E, dunque, e, stasera, stasera facciamo un dolce. Allora, stasera, stasera facciamo il tiramisù. Okay. So, tiramisù, what does tiramisù mean? So, tirare is either, is either you, you can say tira la corda, it's, it's actually to pull the rope, so it's, it's tirare. And, but it's also, it's also tirare la palla, it's also, it's also okay, okay. So, um, so tira mi is throw me, me. Yeah. 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 and su is up. Oh, okay, okay. So, <laughs> so if you, if you do a permutation, <laughs> permutazione, if you, if you move all these things around, you could actually have a, a throw up at me. Tiramisu is much nicer to, to, to say pick, pick, pick me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, 
So we'll do we'll do tiramisu. Uh, we'll go. I guess I guess we go through the ingredients when we are when we're over there. And there's an important component that actually is 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 is, is relevant, I guess, culturally for an Italian, which is that we need coffee. And so we're gonna we're gonna do espresso. Okay. We're gonna make that whole can, right? So um, so but but the the espresso is important. So so how. Uh, how many of you of you guys know 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 what how what the perfect espresso looks like? So the cafe is una cosa import importantissima. So the coffee when you when you when you go in Italy and when you go in a, when you go in a, when you when you wake up in the morning you go to the bar you ask, you, ask, you don't ask for espresso you don't ask you you just you just go un cafe and the espresso will will instantaneously appear in front of you. So so you go in and you say and you say what? Un café, per favore. Me pi... no. Me pi... no. Mi piace. Mi voglio... Voglio. Ah, 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 oh, voglia... Voglia di café. Oh, voglia di café. And the bartender will say... Anch'io. Ho bisogno? No, se la mia amica. Ho bisogno, ho bisogno di un caffè. So also would work. It would make you extremely loved by because because they. I want coffee. I want coffee. Yeah. So does the word comandare mean anything? Can you say posso comandare? Com posso comandare. So so it's very very old Italian. I mean la, la comanda uh -huh. was a, was a very a very old term to say okay. uh, to, to say. For a waiter to take an order. Yeah, is, uh, it, is it rude to say that nowadays? Or? Comandare is uh, is more is more referred to to when to giving orders okay. actually. So you okay. so it's more <laughs> so so it's more like a you know like a captain will will okay. will comandare. you know will comandare yeah. al, agli ufficiali. Okay. You know okay. like like the guy in the yeah, uh, but. Um, but so so you want to say when you when you when you go when you when you go in a in a bar you say generally it's it's very it's very short and just say un caffè per favore and then everybody will say eh, and, then, and, then, and, then, and then it'll appear it'll appear magically otherwise you you say uh, potrei or, or posso or posso avere un caffè per favore right so um, posso Posso is can I? It's uh, the verb, uh, the, the 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 infinite form of the verb is potere, which also which also means means power. Uh, the noun. Il potere. Il potere. But uh, but posso is is uh, is is the first, first first form of the present, and so it means can I. And so posso and uh, posso can I have, and then have is avere. Right? Posso avere? Posso avere? Un. Italians are pretty picky. They have about 15 varieties. Once they once they have the espresso, they have either the one that. Uh, the one that has a little bit of chocolate, the one that has oh. an extra foam. <laughs> uh, there's macchiato caldo and macchiato freddo. Macchiato caldo, macchiato. Macchiato. Okay. <laughs> no. So macchiato. So macchiato comes from comes from macchia. Macchia is spot. So so you know if you're I don't know if you're uh, if you're eating a burger and. <laughs> and something falls on your shirt, there's a macchia for you. Here's a macchia on the chalk on my on my sweater. So um, so macchiato macchiato is is uh, is with a little bit of with a little bit of, of, of milk. And macchiato caldo and macchiato freddo is whether you get alcohol, right? So so these are and this is all caffè con latte. Caffè con latte. <laughs> Cafe con latte. So it's a, so it's a little bit it's a little different uh, than the, the you mean like uh, like like the lattes that you get here. Sure. 
So, um, so that's uh, so that's actually kind of an old uh, uh, an old thing that you get uh, that you get as a kid as as uh, as a kid as a as a big breakfast drink. It's called the cafe latte, and uh, and it's uh, and it's what uh, what you would call a latte. Here. Is the macchiato like the cortado in Spain and like the nois the noisette in France? Like it's like an espresso with a tiny little bit of like foam. Yeah, there's a there's like a drop okay. there's like a drop of uh, a drop of foam on top. And then if you put uh, if you put some uh, some uh, cocoa powder on top, it's called il marocchino. Marocchino. Yeah. Marocchino. Yeah, the, the Moroccan. Marocchino. And if you put grappa in it, it's called corretto. Corretto. <laughs> il caffè corretto. Il caffè corretto is something that you get at the end of the at the end of the meal, and you add a shot of uh, a shot of grappa to it. Yeah. Grappa. Grappa. What is grappa? It's basically turpentine. But, uh, and you can't. You can't put that. On. <laughs> oh yes, I can. <laughs> excellent. Excellent. Um, it's a. Um, it's it's a. Uh, it's a very strong. It's a very strong distilled liquor. It's uh, it's uh, it, it's blank and. In very short shots, <laughs> it's pretty rough around the azar. <laughs> so macchiato is one thing, but probably the most popular. And then corretto is actually very, very popular too. So keep your caffè corretto. Yeah. Corretto. 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 You guys hold your R as well. Corretto. So that's um, so that's that's the other that that means literally corrected. So it's like like, like when you uh, when you grade your exams. Uh, you know, I'm, just, I'm just having this like check mark motion. For, for exam grade. It's that time of year. So I don't have this. Generally, to actually make a good a good espresso, you have the four M's. Did you ever hear about the four M's for? For espresso, so a good espresso has four. To make a good espresso, you need you need four M's. One is one is the the um, the macchina. The macchina. 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 Right. The second one is has the sh. Michela. La Michela. Very good. Very good. Um, Macchina. 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 Machina. 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 It says, remember that the ch is that the ch is always is always a, is always a k in Italian, right? It's like the it's like the it's like the bruschetta, not the bruschetta, right? <laughs> so macchina and then. Mano, mano, mano. So, so ma what do you think? What's what's machina? Machine. No, no that's machina. No, that's machina. So machina is oh. machine, right? So ma what's machina? So machina yeah. is what do you do when you have the beans? Grind. Them. To grind them, right? So to grind the beans is machinare. Oh. Is machina. Oh. So it's the grind. So it's how how finely the coffee is ground. You have to the, the coffee has to be ground fairly fairly thinly in order to make in order to make espresso. And then michela, what's what's michela? So so it, it means mixture. Michela. And so mixture mixture is the is the blends of coffee and how the coffee is roasted and, and what flavor the coffee has. And then mano, mano is mano is the hand of the person that makes the coffee. Right? <laughs> So you can have all these things with it together, so you put things together, then it doesn't, it doesn't work. And those coffee makers are actually, are, are actually, uh, are actually kind of, uh, kind of household staples. They became all designery now, and you can find them in all, in all different, different shapes and sizes. But that, 
Uh, they're kind of iconic. The, 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 these are, I think that these are Paola's because they're Violetti. They have that little strange, strange guy with a mustache and a big nose um, <laughs> as, a, as a brand. And, and, uh, and sometimes, sometimes you actually use the brand of the, the so Violetti is the, is the manufacturer of that. Uh, there's no, no reason really to, to know this except that <laughs> sometimes when you go in a store, you say, I'd like, voglio, vorrei comprare or posso comprare una Violetti, and they know that you're looking for a, for a little coffee, coffee maker. And the other way to call, to call that colloquially is mocha, la mocha. La mocha? La mocha. And it's spelled M-O-K-A. One of the very few uses of K in the Italian language. So we'll, we'll, have to, we'll have to do that, we'll have to split. I think that once, once we, well, it's a, it's a small group, I think, in the, tonight, so it's probably one, one group, but we have to kind of divide and conquer. We have to make a bunch of coffee on the one hand, and then there's the whisking part that is going to be, who's good at whisking? Sara. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sara, because I, I, I'm horrible at whisking. I can't. I can't do it. You can do it. You, yeah. And then, and then we'll go. We'll go through the recipe, and maybe we'll go through the recipe over there, and we'll go through. Uh, we'll go through the, the the ingredients and and get along with a with a little with some anecdotes along the way. Mm -hmm. um, so should we start cooking? Sì, certo. Yeah, certo. Andiamo in cucina.